It's it's starting to heat up big time uh, already. We see uh, we see Tyson's father there starting to rattle Usyk's um, entourage team, and um, yeah, he definitely uh, they're definitely always stealing the headlines. Do you know what I mean? They're always uh, getting out there, getting what they do do really really well is get under the skin of the other team. Do you know what I mean? And they they really start making them think not about the fight but about something outside the fight in terms of whether it's you know an emotional draw to hatred towards them or like just taking their mind off the actual fight and maybe what the game plan is but um at the end of the day look it's it's going to be Tyson and Usyk that's getting into the ring all the uh, all the entourage team is going to be going to be standing outside watching all depends on the fighter themselves you know um I think Usyk is a very calm, controlled, mentally strong person. I don't think it's going to get under his skin too much. Tyson is also very mentally strong when he puts his mind on it. But, you know, he can get involved in other things as well. And especially when it's your dad and your brothers, you know, it um, it can have a wee bit more of a emotional impact on you. I think Tyson's at the stage now where he's dealt with all this throughout his whole career already and you know he's well used to it. So I, I can't see it I can't see it hindering the performance of either fighter, but um it definitely does depend on the fighter themselves. It could it could definitely upset a fighter, it could definitely throw them off and once they get in there the game plan could go out the window and they could just try and knock the head off each other without any technique or anything. But I do I do believe that that uh, Tyson and Usyk is is too professional and uh, too long in the game for that kind of uh, that kind of stuff to interfere with them. I believe the hunger is definitely still there in Tyson, as he says himself. You know, he's a fighting man, and this is all he's ever known. This is you know, it is his identity, and it is what means the most to him. Do you know? And it's it's in the family. Do you know what I mean? Like this, this runs deep in in the Fury family, and his reputation is on the line. And I believe that he's going to be up for this one hundred percent. You know, the Engano fight. I believe that Tyson trained very hard for that fight, but there's a difference in training very hard and being mentally prepared in training as well. You know, you can you can do all the times, you can do all the rounds, you can hit PBs, but if you're not doing it with that mental fear factor as well, knowing that you're getting into that ring with somebody that can really punish you, can really hurt you. Not saying that Nganu couldn't do that because he did do that. It was just the persona of Nganu and the talk on the street of Nganu. You know, he never fought a boxing fight in his life. He's stepping in and maybe Tyson did just fall into that mental side of this is a walk in the park. And one other thing that I would really like to bring up is the way they're treated in Saudi Arabia. You know, it's not your typical boxer environment. You know, boxers were used coming from tough, rough, hungry gyms um, usually bad weather, you know, not in the finest of accommodations, you know, living in that, that fighter mindset, that fighter mentality. But if you're staying in Saudi Arabia for three, four weeks leading up to a big fight, it can mentally soften you. You've got your landing and everybody's worshiping you, giving you flowers, you know, you're getting picked up, dropped off everywhere and anywhere you go. So I believe that it's great that Tyson has experienced that now. And I see that he hasn't been there as long before this fight as he was previous fights. Um, so maybe they are taking that into consideration. But it is definitely something that I believe Tyson has learned a lot from the Nganu fight. I believe that he's going to be 100% switched on mentally, physically. And, you know, it's going to be a great, great fight. Yeah, look, Usyk is a phenomenal professional. Do you know? He's mentally, physically, I think, so sound. 
he has that mindset, that demeanor of calmness as well, and an enjoyment in what he does. He's, you know, they say that happy fighter is a dangerous fighter, you know, and, and I can see that in Alexander Usyk. He's very cool, calm, collected, knows his ability, knows what he can do, very confident in himself. And I believe that Usyk is coming into this fight so much more highly rated, obviously, because of his previous performances. But I just believe that Usyk does everything so well. His boxing IQ is just so on point. What some people don't realize is it's just your distance and reading of, fight, of a fighter and being able to have that instinct of when they're going to throw, when to get out of distance, when to get back into distance. And I think that that's what was so great about Usyk against Joshua. You know, Joshua was the bigger guy. He was the stronger fighter. Um, he had all the hype behind him, all the media behind him. And, and he was tipped to, to beat Usyk because Usyk was the smaller fighter. And all of this was going on. But Usyk's boxing IQ and his intelligence, I believe, really beat Anthony Joshua. Joshua just couldn't figure him out. Whenever Joshua was making attacks, Usyk was moving out. Whenever Joshua wasn't ready, Usyk was attacking, catching him, countering him, throwing him off his game. And mentally, I think Usyk beat Joshua before he actually physically beat him in the ring. So Tyson's biggest test is going to be figuring Usyk out in terms of boxing IQ, that mental battle, that, that intelligent battle in the ring because the two of them is so smart. They have such a great boxing IQ, and I think that that's what's going to be the main battle in this fight. Yeah, look, this this is going to be a very intriguing fight. I believe that the first few rounds is definitely going to be touch and go. It's going to be figuring each other out because both guys are going to be very wary. Tyson's going to be wary of Usyk's boxing ability, his movement, his, his IQ, as I spoke about, and Usyk's going to be very aware of Fury's size his how elusive fury is and it's going to take a few rounds i think for this fight to heat up but as the fight goes on i see tyson fury starting to put the pressure on usyk with his bigger frame his longer arms i believe that he's going to start out boxing usyk putting a bit of pressure on him using his weight using his size using his strength and I believe that Tyson Fury is going to win this fight on a unanimous points decision.